Katie, welcome back to my channel. We are about to embark on another lovely month of Camp Nano. So I wanted to check in with you guys and see what y'all are doing for July. Are you prepping at all for Camp Nano or are you going to wing it? Are you revising? I had planned to work on an adult book and I drafted it, not even, I outlined it in like April, maybe, maybe May. Um, I don't know, I just got a really good idea. I had this idea, but I like figured out how it needed to go for the beats and all of that. Um, it's super bare, so I know like it's going to be dual POV and it's going to switch characters in um, certain things that they're doing and that's basically all I know. I still need to figure out their backstories and um, flesh them out as full characters. And usually like when I go into a story, I know the main people, but I don't really know any side people and that kind of like makes them not whole. So I need to think like who they might be friends with, are they close with their family, how's their relationship with their coworkers, and things like that because so far in my brain I only know their interactions and how I want it to go. Originally I was going to make them exes to lovers, but I really like that initial crush feeling and they're gonna not want to be with each other anyway because of how opposing they are so I didn't need to worry about the X factor um, keeping them apart because they're gonna have their own issues <laughs> with each other's personalities and types um, but it's gonna be sapphic and I'm so excited originally it was gonna be um, a guy and a girl and it was gonna be called the perfect package and it was supposed to be like an innuendo but um, as I kept thinking about this project I decided I wanted two girls so um, I already have like a Pinterest board of them and their likes and what they're doing and I need to start reading there's a few books on my TBR um, that I could possibly comp to this story so I need to read those and make sure that they fit and that I'm not gonna step on any of those toes I think my concept is unique enough. I haven't I haven't read it, but I haven't read a lot of adult books, so I need to get on that to make sure that it's a good concept. Um, but either way, I'm excited to write it, so even if it's out there, I might just write it anyway, but I'm really excited. It actually came from a tangent, um, Pitch Wars 2019. Um, JL had read one of my young adult books and said this would be really good as an adult book. Um, why don't you brainstorm it and outline it and see if that fits. I tried. I came up with this. It didn't have the same character at all. And so I was like, that's not going to work. I would just write a whole new book. And then that project that I had worked on became Project Emma, which again looks nothing like <laughs> the original story. So I basically ended up with two new books from JL's feedback. So thank you. <laughs> um, hopefully one day I can like parcel out some of that old script. But um, yeah, I'm gonna. This is my first dive, full dive into adult. I have worked on various projects that never got very far, and I had actually started another draft um, of another idea I'd like to get to eventually, um, but I didn't have it as planned out as I now have this one. And I'm kind of going with my muse basically. I'm really excited about this one, so I know that like I'm gonna put the effort in, and I'm really excited to get back to drafting. I have been editing and revising so much like this year. I don't think I've written anything new. And, well, <laughs> minus my giant rewrites, but, you know, I don't count that. <laughs> um, and I have a few readers reading um, my two books, Project Emma and then The Summer of Risks. And I do know the revisions on The Summer of Risks, so I might start that in June and hopefully finish by July and send that to another critique partner. Unless she's also going to be doing Camp Nano, then that one might have to wait a little bit. But um, I don't want to stress myself out. Like, I push so hard to finish these books all the time, and it's like, for what? I'm still waiting. Like, hashtag goals is out there. I'm not super done querying it. So, I mean, until that happens, I don't need another project, you know? So I'm trying to give myself grace and calm down and like lessen the load on my plate and not go so like hard. That's kind of like my brain, like I want to go hard. That's why I love the nanos November, April, July because I can focus and I just write and then I take a reading break for a month, I come back, I edit, revise for a month 
take another break like it's just my cycle and so maybe that's just what works for me but I'm hoping to kind of slow down like why am I still working on two YA projects at the same time um, it kind of worked out like while a beta was reading one I could work on the other one and just cycle but like I needed a break so June so far has been my break I've been reading a ton I read a ton at the end of May as well um, and going through my list and I'll have another reading wrap up for you soon doing book reviews on some art copies and some other ones some ebook loans and then um, hopefully July will be a no read month and I can just write my adult but that is if I finish the summer of wrists in time or maybe I'll give myself a pass and just let that one go but um, I need to do feedback with Project Emma um, so I'm still waiting on that as well hopefully it's not too big Hopefully I can just go in and kind of tweak some scenes and have that one kind of ready in my back pocket. That would be the one that I query next, even though I think The Summer of Risks is probably like a hotter book than Project Emma. Um, okay, dog. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see. Um, I really want to work on Adult next because I think Adult is really hot right now. Plus, if I could like publish in two age genres at the same time that would be really cool and I had originally thought I would do it with middle grade but um, I had that idea that I was really excited about in April Camp Now Now and then I didn't write it so yeah I'm just gonna follow my brain see where it goes and just not stress about anything so let me know what y'all are up to for Camp Nano and let's see yeah there's cabins I don't think I joined a cabin in April I doubt I'll join one in July. I don't really need like the motivation and accountability and even like the sprints on Nano like or Twitter. Like I just don't need them. I just do it. Like I said, I just go all in and just go for it. So if anything, I need like breaks to stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully I can, I don't even know what my plan is. It might be a bones draft, bones like fast draft to get, to like figure stuff out. I still have to figure stuff out in June about my characters. I doubt I'll write the whole book in July even though that's what I always try for. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll get a goal of 30,000 words and do, yeah, I think a thousand a day is definitely doable. So we'll see. Let me know your goal down below, what you hope to achieve each day. If you're going to give yourself a break, like I'll probably break on the weekends um, and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm really excited. I hope y'all are too and best of luck to you. Bye.